Manifest on Purpose. My name is Kimberly Williams. I am a mindset consultant specializing in manifestation. I help you align your mindset with the things that you desire in your life to help you manifest in your life. So what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Let's manifest on purpose. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Manifest on Purpose Mindset Show, conversation number 10. Today, we're going to be talking about how to set intentions for manifestation. This week has been about the manifestation mindset. Today, we're going to talk about your intentions. How's your Wednesday started so far? Everything's great on this end. I hope it's good for you. I am your host, Kimberly Williams. I am a manifestation mindset consultant, and I help you align your mind with the things you really want in your life to bring forth the best version of yourself. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for inviting your friends and family, and thank you for subscribing here and on the website at manifestonpurpose.net. The God in me loves the God in you. Oh my goodness. I was just thinking about this time that I was thinking I wanted to hit the lottery. And I did too for a whole 10 bucks. But hey, I was just grateful for that. During that time, I didn't know anything about setting intentions. If you've been a part of the manifestation world for a while, I'm sure you've heard of setting intentions before. Today is a check-in with you to see if you properly know how to set intentions. Setting proper intentions for your life brings out the best in you. It also helps you manifest what you really want. I wish somebody would have taught me that before I purchased that lottery ticket. I would have added a number to that intention. Today, I want to do something a little different. I want to do an exercise I want to help you set proper intentions. I want your intentions to be specific. I want them to be clear. Your intentions should be so specific that anyone can read those intentions and know exactly what you want. I'm going to help you do that today through this exercise. For this exercise, I would like for you to get a notebook or a journal. Go ahead and pause this if you need to, or make sure that you download this. So maybe if you want to go through one time and listen and go back and try the exercise, you can. What do you really want? This year is the year of inner intimacy for the Manifest on Purpose Mindset community. It's all about you. What do you really want for your life? Skip what may be good to have or what may be nice to have or what someone else said they think you should have. What do you really want? That's the first step in setting intentions. If you skip this step, you don't get to move forward. At this time, I want you to write down at least one of your current intentions. Pause this if necessary or come back and do the exercise later. Don't write down what someone else wants you to have or what you think should be your next step in life. Write down what you really want. No matter how silly it sounds or seems, no matter how big or small it may seem, don't think of your limitations. This is if you could have anything in the world, and you can, by the way, what would it be right now? I say that for a reason. Some change their intentions because they can't see any way that it will happen for them. But anyway is how it will happen if you exercise faith. None of the intentions from my manifestations have come in the way that I thought it would come, logically. 
It always happens in unexpected ways. When you set your intentions, detach from the how and it will get to you. Now that you know exactly what you want, it's important to be specific about what you want. Just to say you want a lot of money is not specific enough. A lot of money is a different amount for everyone. To be more specific, you would need to use a dollar amount in this example. Today, I'm going to share two techniques with you. These techniques are techniques that I use when setting intentions to ensure that my intentions are specific and clear. You may want to write these down because you can also use them as methods to check your intentions. The very first method I will share is the 5W method. The first W is what? That's asking the question I've already asked you before. What do you really want? Be clear about what you really want. Only set intentions for those things that are true to you. The next W question is why? What is your why? Your why gives you motivation and it increases your passion for what you want to create. What will the manifestation do to improve your life? The next W is when. Your intentions is an aim, a plan, or a goal. It's that in which you want to manifest. All great goals or plans have a projected completion date. Not having a projected date leaves it open to manifest any time between, let's say, now and forever. A timeline also helps you measure progress and helps you keep focused. Where? At a location if it applies here. A good example would be if you set intentions for a home, where would you like for it to be located? Be detailed in the location or places that may be involved. Who? The last W question is who? Who, if anybody, you want to be involved in your manifestation? Yes, please include yourself. Let's do a quick example. Follow along with me. I will use the show as an example. The basic intention is that the Manifest on Purpose Mindset show will help more people become the highest version of themselves this year. Now, I'll break this basic intention down using the five W's. On December the 31st, 2022, that's the win. The Manifest on Purpose Mindset show, that's the who, will help 500,000 additional listeners become the highest version of themselves. That's what and also another who all over the planet. That's where? To raise the consciousness in all of humanity. That's the why. Take some time here to pause or download for later so that you can use the five W's on your intention that you wrote down earlier. Moving right along, the next technique is the SMART method. S M a R T. The SMART method for setting intentions. You may have used the SMART method for setting goals. SMART is an acronym and I'm going to explain to you what this acronym means in setting intentions. S is for specific. You should check with the five W questions to see if your intentions are specific enough. M is for measurable. Create a way to measure your progress. Celebrate the small wins. Be sure to use your journal here to document your progress. A is attainable. Don't bite off more than you can believe in. You manifest according to what you can believe in. If you can't believe it, you won't be able to feel it as if it's real. Start at a comfortable level and work your way up. R is realistic. 
This may not be the realistic that you're thinking about. This realistic is you making your intentions feel real to you. Feel it as if it has already happened to you. Your focus should be to make your intentions seem real to the mind. T is for time, and the time was already discussed when I went over the five W's. Then, I would like to use the intention I set and check for each letter in this acronym to make sure that my intentions are specific and clear. At this time, you can check your intention or intentions using the smart ways to set intention methods. I also would like to give you a few additional tips for setting intentions. Set them and forget them. Don't just hold on to your intentions. Release them and align with them. The more you focus on the fact that your intention has not manifested, the longer it will take because this shows doubt. Don't share your intentions. You don't know who may be unintentionally doubting you. You sensing that doubt can affect your confidence. Visualize when setting your intentions. Visualize what you want as if it is already happening to you. Utilize all of your five senses and the most elevated emotions. Write your intentions down. Writing is a good way to get things through to the subconscious mind. Writing things down also increases accountability. Not setting proper intentions led to a $10 lottery win. While I was grateful for that $10, I would have been even more grateful if the winning ticket was a multi-million dollar prize. An intention is a goal, aim, or plan. You can't hit a target that you don't aim for. Being an intentional creator requires you to be specific and clear with your intentions. Use the tips and techniques shared here today to help you set proper intentions so that you can manifest exactly what you want to. I love you to life. This is how you manifest on purpose. Let's now prepare for meditation. If you're driving, please don't attempt this now. Download it and save it for later. If you are not driving, please find a comfortable, safe location that is distraction free. Relax. Focus on your breathing. Today's meditation focus is to focus on the intentions that you set today. Enjoy the meditation. Mm -hmm. 